If you are using a USB network code meter dongle, the dongle will need to be attached to a server computer known as the code meter server, which needs to be accessible by all 12D model workstations in your organization, known as code meter clients. You need to take note of the code meter number of the USB network code meter, which can be found on the neck of the dongle. After downloading the dongle drivers, then plugging the network code meter into the server computer, you must then enable network server access via the code meter web admin service. Installing the dongle drivers will install a program called code meter control center, which can be accessed via the start taskbar or via the icon shortcut menu. The code meter control center details the code meters attached to this computer. In my case, I have a USB network code meter and a USB standalone code meter dongle connected. I can determine which one is the USB network code meter by the matching number from the dongle neck. Select the web admin button and select container from the top menu bar and you will be presented with a summary of all network and standalone code meter dongles attached to this computer. Select licenses from the drop down menu to view each of the licenses in these dongles. The top one here is evidently my standalone code meter because it only contains one license. And when I expand the licenses for this code meter, this is my network code meter dongle. What is shown by this network code meter license summary is that a network code meter dongle is capable of holding multiple virtual dongles, which we will call containers, of which these containers can hold multiple licenses, though they must have the same module configurations within the containers. You can see that by the license quantities here, I have 12 total licenses held in four virtual containers, all held in one network code meter. For example, I may have three road design, six drainage design, two survey, and one visualization license within this network code meter, which will imp be important to note for later when we want to reference specific virtual containers when accessing the licenses. To enable network server access to the required port for accessing the network code meter, hover over configuration, then walk right over server and select server access. You will then need to enable network server access, which you'll see is on the default port 22350 and select apply. And now the network code meter will be usable through your network server.